The human genome is quite amazing. And just like music, which is made up of many notes, many registries, it makes no sense unless someone composes it into this beautiful song. Our DNA is what we are. This is our humanity. Uh, and of course, the output of that DNA is these amazing beings called human beings who can do things like science as well as generate and write music. In the early 90s, Lonnie McMillan came by my office at Research Genetics and showed a real interest in biotechnology. We just had this concept of an institute that was both nonprofit research and entrepreneurial in spirit. When Lonnie and I were trying to design the institute, we wanted to explore basic research, specifically about the Human Genome Project. We sequenced one human genome in 13 years as part of the Human Genome Project. We do it in two days now. We are one of the top five sequencing centers in the world, top three in the United States. We have over 2,700 collaborators around the world. So we also have a major component where we are using the same technologies to try to understand crops and or other organisms that are economically important to us. How can we improve crop yields, for instance, things like that with the same technologies? We study the genomes of all sorts of things, plants, animals, fungi, and people. Currently, our researchers are exploring how to take the information contained in the human genome and practice medicine, genomic medicine. No one is actually out there practicing genomic medicine except us. We're learning all kinds of things. I've been working in the field of genomics and genetics for about 30 years and we had these visions uh, throughout the years and during the Human Genome Project that we would one day apply this to human health. That one day has, is here now. We wanted to solve the economic development problem in the state. We wanted to diversify Huntsville's economy away from just aerospace and, and rocketry. Lonnie was very frustrated by the fact that he had donated money to universities Scientists had published papers, but nothing ever happened with that research. So he wanted to solve that problem. This is going to be amazing because they're going to put nonprofit research and teaching in the same building, not just in the same area, but in the same building uh, with biotech companies. That doesn't exist anywhere else. That was so appealing to me. I said, I want to be the person to come run that. Our goal was to have an $800 million economic impact in the first 10 years. Well, it's only been eight years and we've had a $1.7 billion impact. We knew we needed to inspire the children of Alabama so that we would have a workforce in the future and so that biotechnology could actually get a foothold in the state. But we also want to inspire everyone. And that means adults, children at all ages because this type of work has such a huge impact on the world that it's important, we think, to let them understand what it is that we're doing and also get them excited about it. What if you could spit on a thumb drive and 10 minutes later find out what infection you have? What if you could take a single drop of blood and determine whether you have cancer or not? What if you could have your genome sequenced and learn the best health practices for you the rest of your life? Those are the kind of things we're working on at Hudson Alpha.